I'd now like to show you how Infusion PP is set up and to do that I'm going to take you over into my WordPress dashboard. Once the plugin is set up with appropriate values it will allow PayPal and Infusionsoft to talk. Note, you only need to do this setup stuff once when you set the plugin up the first time. I'll now go through each of the options. The license key authorizes you to use the plugin. We provide you with a license key when you sign up for your $1 trial of the plugin. The license will expire at the end of the trial or on non payment of Infusion PP subscriptions after 30 days. For PayPal authentication, you can use the sandbox mode if you want to perform tests using the plugin without having to buy your own products. The sandbox allows you to buy without spending for testing purposes. Whatever you do, you will need to set up a PayPal API username and password with either a signature or a certificate. Most users will use a signature, however PayPal PayFlow Pro users will need to specify a certificate. We have a video and text tutorials to show you how to get all this information from PayPal. PayPal order defaults. For this section you should specify a default currency for your subscriptions and also a default PayPal button to appear on your sales pages. You can override this button choice later if you wish. You can also specify a default confirm order button to appear on the optional order confirmation page. This can be overrided later as necessary. Next we'll look at PayPal notifications and errors. These are miscellaneous settings to do with errors and reporting and it's where you can set up a WordPress page to display to the user if something goes wrong. And here you can specify a page to display if your Infusion PP license is expired. For example, payment by PayPal is not available right now. Here you can set up the email address to notify when PayPal sends an IPN, i.e. a new subscription, payment, refund, cancellation or payment failure notification. Next, you can choose to acknowledge IPN verification or not. And finally, you can set up IP address checking so you can verify the IPNs are really coming from PayPal. This facility deters hackers. Next, let's look at Infusionsoft authentication. Here you can add your application name and signature. We have a video to show you how to find your signature. And finally, there's Infusionsoft custom fields. You can leave these as default if you follow setup instructions correctly. You only need to change these values if you make a mistake and end up deleting custom fields and having to recreate them. But normally, what you get in the plugin by default is how they should be.